Hi everyone, Pentobo is a MIDI controller using the Apple Pencil on the iPad. It was developed as an input device for string instruments such as violins or a cello, but it can also be used to drive synths. These can be either virtual instruments on a separate computer or apps that run on the same iPad as Pentobo. In the first example, I will connect Pentobo to the VST instrument Synth1, which runs on a separate computer, and then I will show how to connect Pentobo to the synth app Scythe that runs on the same iPad. Pentobo uses all the sensors of the Apple Pencil and generates a total of four continuous MIDI controllers – Velocity, Force, Tilt and Orientation. Velocity is the speed of the pencil. In default mode, Pentobo reports velocity in a bipolar fashion, which is important when using Pentobo with string instruments. Please watch the introduction video of Pentobo to learn more about that option. In the case of synths, the bipolar mode is not necessary and can be switched off here. Now the pencil works like a regular expression pedal or wheel. Here I assigned velocity to the gain of the synth. Fast movements with a pencil result in a loud sound, whereas slow movements result in a quiet sound. Force is the pressure that is applied to the pencil tip. Here I assigned it to an oscillator producing a vibrato-like sound. Tilt is the angle of the pencil as seen from the side. It is assigned to the cutoff frequency of the filter. Orientation is the angle as seen from the top and is assigned to resonance which determines the harshness of the filter. If I do this, the transition is rather mild, but if I do this, then the filter is much harsher. The second case I wanted to discuss is the situation where you want to use Pentobo to control a synth app that runs on the same iPad. This is easy to do as long as the synth can work in the background. Pentobo requires an active screen to acquire information about the pencil movements. In this example I'm going to use the free synth Scythe. First close Pentobo. Then open Scythe and press the BG button at the upper right corner. Then press the home button of Scythe to put it into the background. Open Pentobo. bow. 
then you should see an entry in the MIDI output section referring to the synth you want to control. Here it is, Scythe Virtual In. Select it and set up the correct controller numbers and it's done. You can find the controller numbers in the manual of your synth app. I have mentioned this already in the Pentubo introductory video, but I think it's worth repeating. Considering the placing of the iPad, I think putting it in front of the keyboard like this is probably better than placing it on the keyboard further away from the body. This way the hand rests very comfortably and I can easily play for a longer time without any pain or fatigue. The way to hold a pencil is probably a personal preference and this works best for me. Keep in mind not to rest the elbow or wrist on a table as this would make it difficult to perform circular motion. Also make sure to clean the surface of the iPad. Residual dirt can cause jitter when moving the pencil. Pen2Bow can be purchased on the Apple App Store. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.